Yo, what up guys, Sub the Gamer here. So it's about 6.45 p.m., 15 minutes away from the Bulls and Knicks game. I'm so excited, Jeremy Lin versus Derrick Rose, but I promised you guys gameplay, so might as well do this right now. I'd be more than happy for you guys to watch this video, and I'll be more than happy to make a video after the Bulls and Knicks game, if it's a good game, of course. But yes, this gameplay is a lot longer than my normal gameplays. This is about 10 minutes. I don't only have gameplays that are in the 6 minute range. But honestly, if you guys like this 10 minute gameplay, I'll be more than happy to post more of these 10 minute, 12 minute type of gameplays, alright? So if you like these gameplays, these 10 to 12 minute gameplays, I'd be more than happy to post more of them for you. So just let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more of these long gameplays, alright? Alright, so on to the gameplay. I'm running with the Portland Trailblazers, and why is Tony Parker guarding LaMarcus Aldridge? I'm versing the San Antonio Spurs, and you know, I really admire when people play with different teams. You know, normally everyone plays with the Miami Heat. Not that I don't respect people when they play with the Miami Heat. I really enjoy playing them. It's a good challenge for me. Same with the OKC Thunder. But yes, it's really fun to play someone who doesn't play with the same teams every single time. The San Antonio Spurs are very different. Not a lot of people play with them. I had a good time versing this guy. This was a great game, and I really respect the guy versed. The Portland Trailblazers are known for their offense while the San Antonio Spurs can still play really really great defense and offense. So this game had a lot of offense and it had a lot of defense. It was a really really close game as you guys will notice at the end of the video. Alright so while you guys watch this gameplay I'm going to talk to you guys and touch up on some points that I've been observing in the NBA. Right now it's on Monday and it's about four days away from the trade deadline. Of course Dwight Howard, I did make a previous Dwight Howard video. But these things are speculating right now. Dwight Howard, where is he going to go? Is he going to get traded? And right now, the rumors are that the Orlando Magic are working on getting rid of J.J. Redick, Hito Turgaloo, Ryan Anderson, giving them to uh, Golden State. And in return, they get Monte Ellis. And of course, Chris Kamen from the New Orleans Hornets will be involved somehow. It's going to be a three-way deal. But Monte Ellis will result coming in the Orlando Magic with Dwight Howard to convince him to stay. So I have been reading up on this free agency topic for Dwight Howard because he is the second biggest free agent after LeBron James. But anyways, you know, I've been reading things that Dwight Howard has been talking to the Miami Heat. He's been talking to the Clippers. Now, this is pretty idiotic in my opinion. Why would you even consider talking to the Miami Heat? Now, I'm not hating on the Miami Heat, but for you to even think about going to the Miami Heat and knowing what's going to happen after, of course, with having LeBron James, I honestly really believe that you shouldn't even think about talking to the Miami Heat. They also asked Dwight Howard, what do you think about going to the Chicago Bulls? He said it's too cold. He obviously was being sarcastic, but that just implies that he's not going to the Chicago Bulls. So for those of you who live in Chicago or who wants him to go to Chicago, I live in Chicago, I would not mind him being in Chicago. But of course, because of Adidas and all the money he wants to make, it's not going to happen. The thing that pisses me off is nowadays it's all about the money for the players. Honestly, it's not about the money. It should not be about the money. You guys are making millions and millions a year. It's all about winning the rings now, right now, guys. It's not about the money. In my opinion, Dwight Howard, Joakim Noah, Derrick Rose, Rip Hamilton, and Hito Turgaloo would be the starting five for the Chicago Bulls if the Bulls traded for Howard. I think that would be a great contending team, but it is what it is. The Chicago Bulls are still a great team without Howard. Now you also got Steve Nash. Now Steve Nash, 39 years old, one of my favorite players in the NBA. I have so much respect for him. I honestly believe that he should be traded. Steve Nash is showing no signs of wearing down right now. He even said himself he's not even close to retiring. He still has two to three years left easily in him. And honestly, Steve Nash, I really want him to be contending for a title this year. No matter where he goes, I'll be happy and I'll support Steve Nash. This guy deserves it so much. Two times MVP. Got kicked out from the Mavericks because the owner thought that Steve Nash couldn't do anything. He thought it was too old for him. He's done. Give him away to the Phoenix Suns. He gets two times MVP right there in his face major respect for Steve Nash. Also got Rajon Rondo in the trade block, but honestly, come on. Doc Rivers and Rajon Rondo, they might not like each other as much as, you know, everyone thinks they do, but seriously, Rajon Rondo is sticking with the Celtics. He is the core of the Boston Celtics right now. It's no longer Paul Pierce. He's getting old. Rajon Rondo is young, healthy, and he's obviously sticking with Doc Rivers. Free agency aside, I want to talk to you guys about the New York Knicks. I'm also going to make another video right after the Bulls and Knicks game, which is about in 2-3 hours, because I want, honestly want to talk to you guys about if the Knicks win or lose. I honestly believe they're going to lose because they're playing the Chicago Bulls, and I'm from Chicago. Chicago is the best team in the NBA right now, according to standings, and right now Chicago is just, you know, feeling it right now, and I honestly believe that the Knicks are going to lose to the Chicago Bulls. But does that make the Knicks a bad team? Not at all. I honestly believe they're going to be a lot better in the playoffs than they are in the regular season. But the only problem is, are they going to make it 
make the playoffs. And oh my god, this fourth quarter, this last 30 seconds of the fourth quarter was so insane, guys. Jamal Crawford's going to get the ball right now. And I knew I should have passed it. I knew I should have passed it. I knew I should have passed it. And this is what happens. Tony Parker, arguably one of the best point guards in the NBA, top five right now. He gets this steal, but Jamal Crawford did not give up. Got the ball back. Five seconds left. Am I going to make the shot? You'll have to find out. But anyways, guys, back to the Knicks. Right now, they're the eighth seed. Five game losing streak. Possibly six if they lose to the Bulls right now. And if they do lose this game, the Bucks are going to take the eighth seed. And if the Bucks lose their game, the Cavaliers will take that eighth spot. So it's between the Cavs, the Bucks, and the Knicks. Now, honestly, I believe for the Bulls' sake, it'll be better if they versus the Bucks. They'll easily win that series. But honestly... If the Knicks get the 8th seed, I promise you it's going to be a really entertaining, entertaining playoff matchup. But look at Jamal Crawford. Missed it. We're in overtime now, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. Manu Ginobili with a great dunk. But honestly, the Knicks got to step up. They got to rather get a new coach. They got to make a trade, a brand new offensive system. They got to do something right now because Amari Stoudemire, Carmelo Anthony, and of course, Jeremy Lin right now are just not playing well together. They had a good start. Then they started slowing down again. They won another game, and then five games in a row they lost. Something's going down. They seriously got to step up their game if they want to make it. Or of course, the Cavaliers run out right now on a great, great, great run right now. Kyrie Irving, Rookie of the Year, no doubt after Ricky Rubio's injury, he's definitely getting it. So honestly, it's looking really good for the Cavs right now, but we're going to have to see what happens. So anyways, guys, there's about two minutes left in this game, and I'm telling you, this game is all defense. Now, honestly, in the overtime, I honestly tried to take as best shots as I could. Open shots, good shots, good quality shots, just like that. Wesley Matthews is my man. If you guys play me, you know that I'm going to shoot with Wesley Matthews a lot. He recently got kicked out of the starting lineup, but I don't care. He's sticking in the starting lineup for me every time I play with him because he's made so many threes for me, and I'm not going to let that go down. Now, Jamal Crawford with a nice dunk. This game is getting intense, 60-59. to 59. Wait till the ending, guys. It's a great game. Thank you for sticking with me so far. We still got a little bit more to go. But honestly, if you guys want more of these 10-minute commentaries, please let me know in the comments down below. I will start recording more games, and I honestly want to start playing with you guys more. And I also apologize for not replying to all my comments. Now, I know in the NBA every day, so I reply to my comments all the time. But now I have two other channels that I've been working on. I just got Subtalks partnered today. I'm going to be working on getting this channel pardoned very, very soon. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Wesley Matthews is a boss on dunking. And honestly, speaking about dunking, this next dunk contest has to be good. Because the previous dunk contest, honestly, we all know, come on, we like, you know, I respect Paul George. I respect everyone who was in the dunk contest, but seriously, this was not a dunk contest. The only reason there was no superstar in this dunk contest, because if there were, with this new dumb voting rules, Everyone will vote for the superstar. That is exactly why whoever won that thing won because of Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart basically enticed everyone to vote for the person who Kevin Hart had. And honestly, that's pretty bogus. We want LeBron James. We want Derrick Rose. I want Dwight Howard to go back in again. We want Kevin Durant. We want John Wall. We want Blake Griffin. We want to see this because this is what the fans want to see. All-Star Weekend is about the fans. Come on, we want to see some crazy dunks. And honestly, we want you know more than one round. We don't want just one voting round. We want the judges to make a thing out of 50, like classic. You know, we want the classics back. All right, so I really enjoy the Celebrity All-Star Games. That's something they should keep on doing the way they're doing. Everyone loves that. But the Rising Stars thing, I honestly believe they should go back to the sophomores and rookies. This was not as anticipating because we all knew the rookies in the uh, sophomores game would be a lot fun but of course the only reason they did not do it was because of the rookies would just just get destroyed by the sophomores because the sophomores were so much more advanced and this guy gets the ball right and I keep on telling him yo take a better shot he fouls me right here so of course I'm gonna make take these two free throws and I know if I miss one this guy can potentially get the lead because Richard Jefferson is a monster in this game so I really, really hope I make these free throws. Jamal Crawford, this guy is clutch. He might be traded as well. Chicago Bulls are looking into him. A lot of teams are looking into this guy. The Clippers are looking into this guy. You know, a lot of teams are... Uh, and of course, the Miami Heat is looking into Jamal Crawford too. So, I make these two free throws. This guy gets one chance to possibly tie the game. Is he going to do it? This is right here. I tell him he first take this shot. Good look. Great look. He gets the ball again. I tell him, take a timeout. Take a timeout. He didn't take it. But anyways, if you guys like this video and you guys want more of these, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Sub the Gamer. Have a good one.